Hey, hey, what's, what's up? up? What's up? Long time no see. Yeah, man. Just uh, got busy with making some interviews and. Uh, yeah. What kind of interviews? Um, we just talking to a few researchers, you know, trying to get their work across to the general audience. That sounds fun and interesting. It is, I mean, uh, in all honesty, but uh, it's a, it's kind of complicated when you think about it for a researcher, specifically a riser, to explain his work to, you know, his or her work to a general audience. But yeah, I mean, for instance, if I ask you right now to explain your area of research to a general audience, how would you do it? So, uh, of course, you cannot be very technical because you also want your work to be understandable. So, my work can be summarized in sort of just two words, quantum gravity. Now, there are various approaches to quantum gravity. Uh, so, what exactly is quantum gravity, if you ask, then, you know, there are four known forces in the universe, namely the strong force, weak force, which operates within the nucleus of every atom that you see. And then there is electromagnetic force and gravitational force, which are things which we encounter more in day-to-day -day life. And we would like to have a quantum version of all these theories. By that I mean, we would like to understand how these forces behave at really tiny length scale. Uh, now, this has been achieved for the other three forces, that is the strong, weak and the electromagnetic forces. So this is what is known as the standard model. One missing piece of this puzzle of standard model was the boson, which was found in 2012. Hmm. Gravity remains still elusive somehow. And it just turns out that it's really, really difficult to figure out how gravity behaves at really short distances. Hmm. One such approach to figure out how that gravity works hmm. at really short distance scale is string theory. There are of course other approaches, but I am hmm. mainly focused on this. Mm -hmm. More specifically speaking, what I do is what I would say the umbrella term to describe my research is gauge gravity duality. Mm -hmm. So a duality is sort of a mapping between two theories. Mm -hmm. And quite a while back, almost at the turn of the millennia, Malasena conjectured a possible duality between two apparently very different looking theories. Mm -hmm. One was a quantum theory, another happened to be a string theory. And the entire point of uh, his conjecture was that there exists a dictionary from which things that are difficult to calculate on one side can be easily calculated in the other theory and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So, this seems to be one realization of a so called quantum theory of gravity. Mm -hmm. And it is very different from the other forces. Mm -hmm. So, my work is primarily in that area and I'm trying to figure out mm -hmm. how exactly this mapping works okay, okay. in some sense I'm trying to make this mapping more concrete okay. and more precise. So roughly speaking that is what I do. Yeah man, sure. that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, you know. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I really enjoy what I'm doing too. But, uh, so yeah, by the way, I have to go and rush it. Uh, oh yeah, sure. Uh, but we should uh, catch up, man. Yeah, we should totally catch up. I oh, also, did you hear about the raid that happened in the hostel? Oh yes, it's pretty, yeah. <laughs> pretty funny, man. Pretty funny and pretty cheeky. I swear. But we should catch up. Yeah, yeah, totally. See you soon.